The following software tutorial covers the setup and basic use of Roland's 3D Engrave software package. Once software is open, you want to maximize the screen and click on the new button. This will open a screen where you can enter the size of your object. For this demonstration, we'll be using a two inch by two inch piece and software resolution, we will make six thousandths of an inch for this demonstration. For more detail, you would enter a smaller number. We will now click on the Fit to Screen button to maximize your viewing size. Next, we are going to make things a little bit easier by displaying a grid and we'll make the spacing for the grid 0.125 inches. We want to make sure we display the grid and use the line type of grid. Now that the grid is set up, we're going to create a very basic shape. We'll select the square icon. And to make things a little bit easier, we're going to snap to the grid and create a very basic square. And after using the snap to grid command, we want to make sure to uncheck it. Once you have created your shape, you can stretch and pull the object to where you want. And if you're not happy with what you have done, you can always undo your last command. If you click the shift key and stretch and pull it, it will stretch uniformly. And again, if you're not happy with this, you can simply undo your last command. If you click on your object again, you can then rotate the object or tilt the object. And click Control Z to undo that command. Next, we're going to create a relief or give the object some height. And we're going to make this one a little bit shallow to start with. We're also going to make the shape straight. And click OK. We can see what we have done. If we're not happy with it, we can simply hit Control Z to undo what we've done and go back to 2D. We can simply click the Create Relief button again to recreate the relief, and this time we're going to give it a little bit more height. There you can see the shape, and we'll click Control Z again to try a different style. This time we're going to use a domed type of shape that is a little bit more squared off. That concludes this video. For other 3D Engrave software use, please see the other videos.